unboxing a Ford 302 aluminium performance CNC machined heads made by Quantico I think in the States uh, and ordered off eBay UK now I've been watching these and they've just been going up and up and up in price and same in the States now I'm taking a gamble and I think I'm going to fit them to a 302 that's in a Ford Sierra three door let's see what we get well packaged I'm thinking that the guy on eBay he has ended up just importing these because the price of everything going up he's putting his prices up Looks like the adapters for the head bolt sizes, maybe. Pretty smart. And then these are two inch valves on the inlet, and one point six on the exhaust. Taking out a little bit out of the packet. I have to admit, I'm pretty impressed with the machining quality. Seems to be no burrs, everything's deburred really well. Ports look loads bigger than the cast iron ones, and it looks like we've got dual fasteners for bigger manifolds. So you could probably port these out even more. Spark plug hole. Seems like it goes in a fair bit, but quite a bit of relief taken away there. All in all, I think they're looking pretty smart. Someone could do a really good porting job on these, but I think out the box they look pretty good. Double valve springs. Now I've seen on a few um, forums 
and the YouTube videos that the actual spring hardware is pretty good and so for the retainers and it looks like we've got spring seats installed whereas I've seen some people that haven't had them on the eBay jobbies and they're actually the springs sitting straight on the aluminium and also you know that springs can rotate and dig into the aluminium as they're working but I have to admit pretty good well impressed now for the next one how do we do a better job of this I still haven't decided what hardware I'm going to run for the pedestals and rockers and everything else yet. So, anyone got any suggestions of some decent quality stuff? Please feel free to comment because I haven't got massive, massive amount of knowledge of what the best things to run are in the states. Now I know that the pistons that are in the car now, they're going to need to be notched to make some clearance for these two inch valves and hopefully I can get the ISKI tool and cut the pistons myself because I don't really want to build up a new bottom end. I only want to get a bit of it more all spare. It's looking like a great bit of kit. Now, what bugs me is I first saw these in 2020 and they was literally like half the price of what I've paid for them that I have now. And I've just noticed over the last few months that the price is going up and up and so I just pulled the price and thought I'd Better get them at this price before they start going into literally thousands of pounds. But they do seem extremely well made. I still can't get over how good the porting is from standard. nice well time to start collecting more bits so they can be fitted thank you for watching the video